let's look more specifically. You know from using Google that you can search for any word on any page on the web. Now that's not exactly true because Google doesn't index the entire web, but for the pages that are indexed by Google, you can go to any word on any page. So it has to have a pretty big index. So the way to think about how this Google index works is it takes every page that it indexes on the web, and we'll talk later about how it indexes those pages, but every page that's indexed by Google, it takes those and it puts them in a big bag, shakes them up, and shakes all the words off of those pages. But as it shakes the words off of those pages, it notes what page it came from. So all of these, you can imagine, all of these pages going into a huge bag, and Google is shaking it up really hard, and all those words are flying off the page until there's just a big pile of words. Then it pours out that big bag, that big pile full of words on the table, and starts sorting them out alphabetically until every word on every page is in order alphabetically. And then after that word comes the links, comes the pointers, comes the references to all the pages and the position on the page where that word exists. Okay, so that's the way to think about the Google index. It takes the entire page, puts it in a big bag, shakes it up with every other page on the web, all the words come flying off, pours all the, all the words onto the table, puts them in alphabetical order, and next to each word puts, a, puts a, a reference, a link, a pointer to where that word came from on which page. Now you can imagine the word, you know, um, the word uh, the would come up on a ton of pages. Google actually deals with that because nobody's really going to search for the word the, so they exclude words like that. Those are called stop words. They stop them from being in the index. They stop you from indexing them in general. Okay, so the Google type of index, as I said, is an enormous alphabetical list of all the words on all of these pages. The Google index has lots of different names. You'll hear it called a reverse index, a full text index, an inverted index, and there are more than one that Google has. It has more than one inverted index, or sometimes also called an inverted file, or a reverse file, or a full text index. And that's usually what I'll call it because that's the most descriptive. It's a full text index. It indexes the full text of each page that it looks at on the web. And as I said, it doesn't look at all of them. Okay. So there's at least, and there's probably many more, there's at least one index for all the titles of the pages. Now you may or may not know this, but it's the case that every page on the web has a title. Well, every page on the web is supposed to have a title. The title describes what's on the page, just like the title of a book describes what's in a book. And so for every page on the web, there's a title, and Google scripts off all of those pages, puts them in a separate bag, shakes them up, alphabetizes all the words. And why does it do that? Because the title is very important. The title is very, very indicative of what's on that page. And so it makes sense for Google to have a separate index just of the titles. And then there's also an index for the full text, all of the content that's on the page. Okay, so we have the general concept of an index, which is an alphabetical or numerical list of items or, or, or excuse me, of terms. And those terms are linked back to the information that they describe. Then we have specifically the Google type of index, which is Mondo. It's enormous. You can imagine how huge this index is that has every word on, the pa on, on all the pages that Google indexes with a set of links, a set of uh, references to the page and the position on the page where that word is. That's the Google type of index. That's what indexes, indexing is all about. We're going to talk about indexing a little bit more later in the course, but this is the kind of index, this is the, the core function, the core feature behind, behind uh, Google is its ability to create this giant index and then do the other things we're going to talk about, allow you to ask questions about it, and then give you results back uh, based on that index.